Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan. Uh, I play chess, but my videos on YouTube. Today I've got a really uh, tactically interesting game uh, against a very sound, solid player. Uh, I like this game a lot because I avoid a lot of exchanges and there's a lot of good tactics to go along with it. So I started with e4, he responded, and I went through a period where I tried to play normally, which is bringing the knight here. Um, he, I thought there was some tactic with this, but um, I looked at it for a good long while and decided that, you know, I can just take this pawn here. Um, he develops again. I think it was a gambit style thing. Um, just trying to get me all riled up. But I've got this nice check and then moving back again. I pin the knight. He unpins. I decide to go ahead and take. He comes out with the queen. Um, and now I've got a nice check on the king and we're about equal I'd say I'm a little bit better in development right now uh, because we can both castle at this point, which he goes ahead and does, and I go ahead and do as well. I drop him back one, safe square. I connect my knights. I always like it when my knights are connected. Um, this is probably a prophylactic move on his part in case I come in with a pawn here. I come in with my knight and try to exchange this bishop for a knight. Um, so this prevents that by going like right here and then back one maybe. So I develop again, bringing my rook out. He follows through with his original plan. This is just to stop any pin shenanigans against my knight and queen here. And this is a dangerous move on his part. Part of the reason why I brought my rook here. And uh, he's threatening taking here with the bishop and then delivering checkmate here on g2. So I stop that right away, check the queen. And this is a nice advantage of having connected knights, is that I can protect the other knight while gaining a tempo on the queen. I'm trying to win this queen here. Bring my rook up right now. His only square is back right here. is right there. It That was a, a crazy move for him to find. It's protected with this bishop pinning this pawn from taking it right now. Uh, that's a crazy move. I stop this bishop. I think better was bringing the rook right here. No, the better move was... The computer wanted me to move my rook right here. I didn't see it. Um, but bringing the rook right here would have won the queen for me. I didn't see it. Instead, I played my knight there. He escapes. I drop him back out of harm's way from this knight. I check the queen again. Queen moves back to safety, and I had this nice pin. It's the exact same principle as he had with his queen a couple moves back, but this bishop is stopping him from taking this. So it's a double attack on the queen and rook. Drops the rook back. I take, and he takes with the king. I think it was interesting he took with the king because of the following moves. Um, now this pawn is pinned. So I start more trickiness with this knight here. I see this at this point that I can have a heavy attack right here on this pawn. Given that this is here, I can push this pawn, I can move my queen here, um, just a lot of things. He attacks my knight, which I think is kind of a wasted move because it's already defended by this rook. I think I thought he had better moves than that. Now, here was my idea, and he missed it. It's a different kind of pin. It's not the same kind of pin as before because he moved his king over. It's no longer pinned by this bishop. What is pinned is this pawn for my queen. And I come in with a check and win the queen, and he resigned. So I exploited the same exact tactic twice in a row. Anyways, that is the power of a pin here. I won the queen. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I wish you the best of luck in your chess.